AMS2 or Automobilista 2 has been known for being quite hard to mod because it uses the madness engine. You can't have custom sounds, you can't have custom physics, everything you have to take from a car and change it. But it was also known to be hard to actually add the cars into the game because you had to make a lot of few, a lot of things. You have to add boot files and directories and a lot of similar things. And then you had to use JSegme or what's it called to and it to activate them. And it takes roughly 20 minutes. But now the evolution has arrived called AMS2 Content Manager or AMS2 CM for short. And what this helps with is doing everything for you. So let me get you there. So what you want to first do is go to race department and download it here. Then after you have downloaded it, what you want to do is go into the files. So I'm going to show you here. You want to go to your local files, then find wherever you have steam then you go to steam apps common and automobilista 2 and here you have this mods folder which usually arrives which you always have with jsegme here what i use but in here you want to add a enabled folder one called enabled and here is where you put all your mods which you can see here I have quite a few but if we go back to downloads I can show you what to do so if we move this here with that here then I will show you so at first I will show you with this car with the the indica so what you want to do is download it and obviously because it's raised upon me it takes a while so you have this AMS2 indicar raw file and you have everything in here and what you want to do is to just take it and drop it in then uh, okay so it can't be managed but that's what you want to do so okay so now I understand so if we take it remove it from there and just drag and drop it here you see it gets added into here and when you want to activate it it will i will show you the activation and doing with this it's a bit trickier like with the in motion revolution which is a chaos a different chaos mod from what i understand is you have to change it to a raw file but because it's not fully a zipped folder so what you want to do is you want to download the actual folder of with everything in it. Then you want to uh, open it in 7-zip. Then extract the car folder, I think it is. Or you want to... No, I think it was... You just take... Or maybe if we do it more here. If we take this and then actually compress the folder. And you have this. If we add it into here, we'll see if it works. Otherwise, we'll have to, I'll have to, you'll have to read for yourself. But what it says here, because I don't fully understand, you can probably put the comments below, is here. It says here, after extracting the outside archive, change the inner archives extension to RAR. It's not a zip archive like the extension suggestion. So what it says, probably, if we delete that is you take the folder and from what I understand is you can compress it to make it an actual zip file you have it here it'll just take a little while and then about five seconds remaining then we will have a folder which you just add into here and it will work so if we just put it in here see hopefully it if it works and now when you have done all of that, you just press the shortcut, which I have, or you go into the actual AMS2CM folder, press it, and this will come up. So you will see in the left hand, top left hand corner, you'll see all of the mods getting uninstalled, and then they will install them. So hopefully I've done things correctly. 
and then everything will work fine. But I'll just talk to you about using it because I've used it before and it is a really good addition because usually for example you will see like Azure and especially Kali Highway Kali Highway took a very long time to actually ac enable using Gsegme uh, or what's it called so that's the main thing and also when enabling it you don't have to have boot files anymore which means you can just add them in and boom it makes everything for you so that's good and for every update if I understand it correctly you'll have to just run AMS 2CM again and everything will work if the mods work obviously and then if you want to just update the mods you just update the mods you don't have to extract them or do anything like that nothing needed so that's the main point and you can see here with Bruno I think it is yeah that one takes quite a long time which it also took before because I think it has to do with the size of the circuit but it still doesn't take as long as what it would take using normal methods and by normal methods I mean JSEGME then I'm just turning on my reel as you can see to make it so I can show you how everything works in game but then are there any negatives? Well, maybe for the modders, they have to remake all of their mods to fit this stand, not standard, but to make them compatible. And that's what you obviously want to do. Now Bruno got enabled, and then Kelly Highway will take a bit of a while, but it didn't take that long. So this is the good thing, in my opinion, that everything just gets enabled quite quickly, especially cars. They get enabled really quickly, so now it shouldn't take so long for everything else to get enabled, except Suga at the end. If I have done everything correctly, so yes, see, you can see the cars going, taking just a few seconds, while the in A in J Sigma they would take a few minutes. And has the in motion revolution, or no, that didn't stop it? So hopefully everything will work because it used to stop before the Mazda Mojave. Then we are in the Nissan, which how long is it going to take? Does it seem that long? But you can see how quick it is. So we'll just have to wait here until everything is enabled. But whilst we are waiting, I can maybe talk to you about my about you hitting the subscribe button and also liking but also hopefully my next video will be on the new update arriving in AMS 2 I, w I just wanted to clarify that the in motion revolution thing is exactly how it is as of today which is the 21st of May so everything it might change soon but it should work and now we are done. And I just want to tell you that my future update, no future video, will be on Barcelona, hopefully. But we'll see what happens. So now, let's get into Automobilista 2 and see if everything has been added correctly. And sometimes, it, I think AMS 2 has crashed a few times on me when trying to download a few mods but then when I deleted I don't remember what it was but I deleted a few mods which didn't fully work and then the AMS2 worked well, worked so if it doesn't crash you know I've done everything correctly it's how does it look I'm a bit unsure okay so it worked now then you have everything obviously here, Silverstone, F mod, blah 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 blah, Madness and Jamie, Fanatic Extreme, so if we check here, test day, check, from the start, yes, you have here, so you have these 60s supercars, then you have track day versions, Alpine Cup, then what more modded cars do you have, not that, you have the F355 Challenge, F488, 
the GT1 cars, which I really have to try out. And then we come here, you have the Group 5 cars. Unfortunately, I wasn't alive to see these cars, but I hope to see. I think this one would be the co coolest one. And then you have the Group C, GT1, you have all of the GT series, you have obviously the IndyCar. And you have the In Motion Revolution. And you have all the other cars. So let's take the IndyCar of my favorite driver. I believe this is his livery, Marcus Eriksson. Let's go to Bruno. And hopefully everything will work. So we'll have to just see. It's accepting, it's going, it's going. I can take it out of gear. Do we have it here? It seems like it's working. Then we can just... Okay, so something... There was like a bump there or something. I don't know. Or am I going the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. Oh well. But doesn't it have any torque? Well, I haven't driven these cars, so... It might be the reason why I don't feel like it has torque. So if we just clutch drop it, okay. It makes quite a lot of noise. But here we are, around Bruno, in the IndyCar. And both of these were enabled using Project Cars 2, no, AMS 2, what's it called, Content Manager. So does this mean that AMS 2 finally has become a good modding platform? Well, as in downloading mods, Definitely, it's made everything a lot easier. But, make producing the mods hasn't been easier due to AMS 2CM. And it hasn't made things worse for modding. So I would say AMS 2 is a very good... AMS 2CM is a very good step into actually downloading the mods and getting people interested in downloading mods but then you have to a razor always also trying to make it easier for modders to make like custom sounds and things so that's what i think but what do you think comment down below and whilst you're there also hit the subscribe button and also like my next video as i've stated before will be hopefully on the barcelona circuit and the new B1.5 update for Formula Ultimate Gen 2 because the true V1.5 update will, won't arrive until next month but we will have a few juicy cards using the new new physics already this month but until then I've been Racy Legend you've been my amazing viewers thank you for watching good